Dr. Chu, we welcome you uh, to the committee this morning. I, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. We're starting a few minutes late. I think probably all three of us were on the floor of the Senate waiting for a 10 o'clock or 10.15 vote to occur. And we were just informed it won't occur now, but will occur s sometime in the future, mm -hmm. either in the short term or the longer term, any moment or perhaps sometime today. So uh, that, that's the uh, reason I was a bit delayed. Um, we have asked Secretary Chu from the Department of Energy uh, to come and present and discuss the 2010 budget. Um, my expectation is that we will be truncated a bit uh, and probably be interrupted uh, with a short recess for a cloture, cloture vote. Um, I want to note that we will have uh, Administrator Diagostino before the subcommittee on June 2nd to discuss National Nuclear Security Administration's, uh, the National Nuclear Security Administration's budget request. We're free to discuss any of that today as well, but I simply want to remind members that uh, there will be further opportunity to discuss that in two weeks' time. This year's budget of $27.1 billion for the department uh, is basically flat compared to 2009 uh, appropriation numbers. Uh, a substantial sum of money, a, a great deal of money, was uh, provided uh, $38.7 billion as a part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Uh, those numbers, of course, were not intended to be a substitute for the regular budget. They were intended uh, for the purpose of uh, moving money around the country, getting people to work, getting contractors working and building projects and doing things that are of substantial value and creating assets for the future. So uh, having said that, I was a bit surprised when I received the President's budget because I felt that uh, with the Economic Recovery Funds, uh, very substantial amounts of money, $38.7 billion to the Department, that we might see uh, a very different uh, approach in trying to deal with the priorities in the Department. And I'm going to talk to you today about some of uh, the strengths that I see in the budget request and some of the concerns that I have. Um, there are some, I think, good stories in the funding increase proposals. Renewable energy, I think we have to maximize the capability of renewable energy in our country. In order to do that, uh, we not only have to be determined to say, here's where the country's headed and, and plot a, a map to get there, but we have to create uh, the capability to have an interstate uh, transmission capability that connects all of America. And that's not easy. That's very difficult to do. And uh, the science budget is uh, robust. Um, there's also a proposal for eight new energy innovation hubs, which uh, I view as a means of helping the Department of Energy address what normally people call the valley of death, uh, the dilemma of getting technology transferred from basic science to applied research and then out into the marketplace so that it accomplishes uh, what we intend to accomplish in the field of energy for our country's future. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just truncate my statement uh, I, I will, during the questioning, have an opportunity to go through a wide range of subjects with you, Secretary Chu. Um, I, I think what, I, what I'd like to do, with the permission of our colleagues, is call on Senator Bennett for a, a brief opening statement, call on the Secretary to make a presentation. At, per, perhaps about that time we'll have to uh, go over for the cloture vote and then come back and have a substantial opportunity this morning to ask questions of the Secretary, if that is... All right, with my colleagues, let me call on the ranking member, Senator Bennett. Thank you very much, Mr.